All right, let's start over here, kind of against the building here. This was the Berkeley tie dye. <laughs> this is the last one that was on there. I, I meant to take it off to save the seeds, and as you can see, I forgot. So um, it looked like this after the first frost. It was kind of drying up anyway. But I moved it against the wall. It doesn't really get a lot of sun, but look at the growth that has come back, and it even has some blossom. So I'm just going to leave it, let it do its thing. I really haven't even been watering it, and it's doing this well. So I'm just going to let it do what it's going to do until it gets really cold. And then this was my dollar store stackable here. I planted lavender in here, but I don't think this is lavender. I think it's just the weed. Let me know if you know what it is. Um, I do not think that is lavender, but I'm just letting that grow. Again, I don't water this either. Some of the basil is still growing. Petunia's trying to hang on. Then over here is my San Marzano. There are two tomatoes sort of hanging on for life. I may try to save some seeds from here. I don't think I'm looking at this one. Not going to be very edible, but maybe I can get some seeds out of it. And it's still trying to grow. You can see like a sucker coming in here. It's still trying to grow. I'm just again, like the Berkeley Tata, just letting it do its thing. Then over here is my asparagus year one. I uh, may or may not have forgot to water it for a few days so it started to dry up. I think it's still mostly salvageable. It got really tall. Back up so you guys can see it. So I'm trying to remember to water it now and Hopefully next year or the year after, I'll have some asparagus. And over here, we have the bullnose pepper that somehow started growing sideways in the grow bag. Still has two peppers on it. This one's sort of starting dark and not growing. It's been the same size for a while. This one actually is, sorry, this one actually is growing, so... I'm just going to let them do their thing for a little while. There's actually a new blossom. I'm going to pull those off. Just let the plant concentrate all its energy on the two peppers that are left. I'm going to try to overwinter this. I want to plant it in a regular like plastic pot and keep it indoors over the winter. That's what I mean by overwintering. So I'm just... I want to try to direct it so that it grows straight up and down instead of sideways. So that may be a little bit challenging, but we'll see. I'll, of course, film it and let you guys know how it goes. Then here is the broccoli that I planted in the early spring <laughs> that I never um, pulled out. I got some broccoli off of it, and I've just been growing it to get the seeds. And I believe these are the seed pods. I've never successfully grown broccoli until this year, so I guess this is seed pod. Let's actually, because it, it had flowers. Most of the flowers are gone. You can see a few yellow ones still there, but So I think these are seeds. I just don't think um, they're old enough yet. So I will let them stay on here and dry up and then collect them. 
that was a nice surprise. Again, I've never successfully grown broccoli, so or let it go to seed. So I didn't know what to expect. So that's great. Then I have my carrots. I planted. I think I planted these in August, maybe September. So they seem to be doing well. They survived that first frost. Yeah, as you see, that one looks like it's going to be pretty good. And it's just in a grow bag. This is a, I think a five gallon grow bag. And these are little finger carrots. Then I have another pepper. I was about to say green pepper. It was just a pepper I never took off. Um, never took it out of the, <laughs> the pot, the starter pot. Then there's a little bit of asparagus that I planted. I kind of forgot to water this as well. Down in here kind of being overshadowed by this petunia that still thinks it's summer and it's just still flowering. <laughs> Look at this. And then down in here I have ginger that I planted from store-bought ginger. I need to pull this up soon and I will definitely film that. I think I'll probably pull it up at the end of this week because I believe this warm weather is going to be over. Then we have our lacy broccoli that is, oh, wait a minute, there's the culprit. I just killed, I think this is a cabbage worm, even though this is broccoli, it's not cabbage. I just killed a little tiny one the other day. So let's get rid of him or her. Oh, gross. There. I'm going to throw him off the balcony and hope that a bird gets it. <laughs> Cycle of life. I think that's it. I don't see any more, so hopefully... It'll stand a chance, you know. I think it's a little too late in the season to get anything, but I'm going to try. Behind the broccoli. Let me slide this out of the way. There's our zinnia. That's, it's pretty much dead. It looked like this after the first frost. Um, the branches are very brittle, as you can see. <laughs> They're just breaking off. I'm going to break this down and get it in the garbage. And then here's a tomato. <laughs> this must have fallen off of my um, moneymaker tomato that is still producing tomatoes. You can see they all, like, I had this problem. Most of them split, like, worse than this. This one's actually pretty good. I think I'll just put him in the windowsill and let it finish ripening. We'll see if that crack gets worse. This is the whole plant. <laughs> you can see it's leaning in its cage. Let me move this. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. <laughs> Maybe a squirrel will get it. Sorry, the tomatoes are tangled up in the zinnia here. There we go. <laughs> All right, I wanted you to see the rest of it over here. There's a few more 
still growing. I don't know if this one has like a, just pull this off. Like that chunk missing, but I'm just letting them grow. You can see it's still actually growing. <laughs> that one's blushing as well. And there's a couple like hanging over. That's on the outside of the balcony. That one there is like over the railing. Then finally, on this side of the balcony, we have um, a couple grow bags here. This was this one here was um, sunflowers and Cosmos um, Diablo. The Cosmos did not like that first frost. <laughs> Definitely not a cold, cold hardy plant. You can see the leaves here. They just that was from the first frost. This one's hanging on. They're beautiful. I definitely want to plant those again next year. And then a couple sunflowers. This one actually just opened today. Or started to open. I think it's a Russian mammoth um, dollar store seed. Then this was my cucumber. Dar cucumber, D-A-R. Still had two cucumbers left um, as it started to get cold, so I just left. Oh, that just came off. I didn't mean to do that, but <laughs> so that came off. So um, this is one of the two that was left on there. They, um, I think it got too cold and it just started their growth. And there's the other one right here. So I'm gonna um, pull this down as well. And this was a sunflower that I had planted with it, hoping that the cucumber would sort of trellis up the sunflower, but that didn't happen. <laughs> so I put this uh, little, one of those green sticks in there. That was sunflower as well in there. I just need to get rid of that. And then finally, the last petunia here hanging on. I'm really surprised that the petunia is um, surviving that. Um, first frost. Very resilient. So, just going to let it do its thing until it dies. They were so pretty. So, that is my post first frost fall garden update. Thank you so much for watching. I do plan to do a, try to get a couple more videos in before the garden is sort of put away for the winter. But um, thank you again for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers too. I appreciate it. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, you know what to do. And by that, I mean subscribe. And also um, give me a like as well. Thank you again and come back soon. Also, if you have a garden, please let me know what you're doing for the fall, if you're growing anything, and also how you're preparing for the winter. All right. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all soon.